All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for Thursday, the 20th of May, 2021. We've got the moon moving through the middle degrees of Virgo. We've got the sun moving into the sign of Gemini to join Venus, the North Node, and Mercury, ruling planet of Gemini. We have a yod happening today. The yod is known as the finger of God in astrology. Uh, this it's, it, it's two quincunxes and a sextile. So the yod, the point of the yod, the fulcrum point, meaning the balancing point, let me show you here, is the moon in Virgo. Then we follow this quincunx up here to Saturn. We follow the sextile over here to Chiron. We also have a sesquisquare happening to Pluto. We have a sextile to Mars, and we have a T-square with the nodes. Okay, this is a ton, a ton, a ton <laughs> going on today. And then we're going to have uh, the moon square to Venus and then starting to square to Mercury as the day moves on. So what does all of this mean? I'm just going to leave this up for a second and talk about it so you can see where this falls into your chart. And where, where is this, you know, where is Virgo in your chart? Where is the moon lining up for you? This is all about not being able to see the results of our actions. That is what this day is all about. It's not seeing all of the effort that we're putting in. It's putting all of the effort in without seeing a, a change in self, without seeing a change in how we're operating, a change in how we're connecting with the community, a change in our sense of authority. We're not seeing necessarily the healing that's happening taking place behind the scenes. We're not seeing how, the, how being disciplined, how cutting things out of our lives, this T-square, how cutting things out of our lives or people, how, or cutting ideas or thoughts out of our lives, how moving into this new direction, how trying to think for ourselves the best as we can. We don't see how all of this information is doing anything for us. But it is. But it is. And that's kind of the beauty between the sextile happening here. This is healing of oneself and, and, and creating a change within ourselves and our environment in, in the sense of the group and the community. This T-square is all about old life, new life, our past and our present. Sometimes things circle around, but it's not a circle like Ouroboros. Every time we come back around to a certain part, it's, it's this slow expanding spiral. So even if we revisit something, if we're taking four steps forward and two steps back, four steps forward, two steps back, four steps forward, two steps back, three steps forward, two steps back, we're still making progress moving forward, even though we don't see it. The sextile that the moon is, is creating with Mars is a lovely sign of this. It's saying if we don't show an emotional response and we stay focused, that's what the moon is all about. It's, it's, it's our emotions staying focused in our productivity, it's staying focused on the task at hand, it's staying focused and grounded in the earth sign of Virgo. And, and the moon rules Cancer. Mars is in Cancer, saying moving forward in these actions. And this can be like, I, you know, I don't see the results, so I'm going to sit here and I'm going to uh, pound my fists on the ground. I'm going to be angry and upset that I've planted a seed and I, and I haven't been able to eat the fruit because it's not bearing any fruit right now. And all of this energy is saying, it, it's asking us to be patient with ourselves. It's asking us to be patient in the creation process. It's asking us to respect the process. It, and it's, it really is that. And it's saying, don't go back to an old style, an old way of living, to go back to old habits just because we don't see the immediate results. This is like, let's say if we're, I'm just using this as an example, this can apply to any way in your life. So this is, let's say, if, if um, you're going on a diet, a weight loss diet, and you've cut out sugars, you've cut out breads, you've cut out whatever, and you're exercising every day, and then every day you're, you're on the scale, every day you're, you're, you're checking the thing, but you don't see the results that you want. And then it's saying, who cares 
I'm going to go eat a, the full cake. I'm going to go back and eat the sugar. I'm going to go back to my old diet because it doesn't matter. Because nobody cares. Nobody's noticing the change that I'm doing. This isn't about the others noticing us. This is about our relationship with ourselves. It's something we talked about pretty heavily on yesterday's horoscope. This is all about us, our relationship with ourselves, honoring and valuing ourselves. And this is saying just because we don't see the immediate results, that doesn't mean to dig up the seed and say that this will never grow into a tree, that this tree will never grow large and bear fruit. This is saying, please stick at it, keep at it, breathe, trust yourself, trust that process and keep going at it. And you will see the rewards, even if you don't see them right now today. And to not have an emotional response and to be angry as of a result of this. And then we have, uh, I'm going to come back to the chart here, forward this a little bit. By 10 p.m., that's our square here to Mars. So this, this energy is going to be with us really all day. And, and this is the reward here around 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time when we, when we don't fall back, when we don't fall back on the, the old, the past, when we don't fall back in those old habits and routines that we get this sort of emotional freedom. We have the sun moving out of the sign of Taurus, out of I have, valuing our possessions, valuing our bodies, valuing our homes, moving into, I think, joining Mercury, Venus, and the North Node. Uh, this, is, this is a powerful placement right now, as this is all about thinking for yourself. This is seeking your path, seeking your truth, and allowing yourself to think differently. You know, we have, we have Venus here creating this trine to Saturn for the past, you know, day and a half, two days, two days. It's been creating this trine to Saturn. And it's like when we value our thoughts, when we, when we express what we're thinking, when we're not just running with the crowd, when we're an independent individual within the crowd, which we all are, and remembering and honoring ourselves that we don't get lost in the crowd. Something that's popping up right now is like this old Gap commercial. Maybe I'm dating myself. Is Gap even a company? And everybody was wearing khaki pants and white shoes and a gray shirt. And there were all these different, they were like, they were these, these different style gray shirts, different style khaki pants and, and different style of white shoes, but they were all the same. And I mean, everyone just looked absolutely the same. And it was, it was creating this trend, creating this look. And it's like we can still be an individual and we don't have to look a certain way. We don't have to try to fit in by having this pair of shoes or, or these pants or whatever the new in style is. This is very much for us saying, I'm going to think for myself and be my own individual. And that's part of the beauty of the sun entering Gemini right now and having its close friends, Venus and, and uh, Mercury in Gemini with it. This is all about us seeking our own truth, being ourselves being independent thinkers. And as the sun continues to move over the next two weeks leading up to this lunar eclipse in, uh, in the sign of Gemini, we're going to gain a better understanding of ourselves, of our individuality within the group, that we can allow ourselves to be ourselves without fear of judgment, without fear of, of, of not fitting in by being a unique individual. This is, this is like the black sheep all finding each other in a certain sense. Does that make sense or is that contradictory to what I'm just saying? Uh, uh, this, is, this, is, this is the, uh, the outcast, not outcast, but different thinkers in a certain way kind of coming together and being individuals together, honoring each other's individuality, empowering each other's individuality. It's good stuff. So all in all, you know, we're going to have the moon or the sun here in, in Gemini for the next month. Um, th th there's some tricky energy with this day. I don't want to lie about it. But this is the strong thing is just don't fall back into old patterns. Don't fall back into old habits just because we're not seeing those immediate results. Stick with it. Stay focused. Stay grounded. And breathe. <laughs> My friends, as always, thank you for hanging out with me. I love you. I wish you enough and we'll see you tomorrow.